the concept of Korea was really interesting because I don't think people think of Korea as a major fashion city. Um, well, I should say Korea. Seoul. I don't think people think of Seoul as a major fashion city. But what's really interesting is to see how how fashion's language is um, in conversation all over the world. And you can see that in, in the collection Resurrection, there was a nod to sort of the punk rock era and to rock and roll. And I think it's really interesting how major cities are really so, uh, major countries, important countries, are so inspired and influenced that they're building their fashion um, designers and their businesses to become global empires and Korea is a thriving country and one that's very important in political and in economic um, culture throughout the world and I think it's great that they're making fashion as important. The third designer leaves Jun Yun. What is, Andrew, how do you say the last third designer that shows? Lee Jin Yun. Lee Jin Yun, see? You have to know how to say it right because it's all... Um, <laughs> I think that the collection was sort of had a much more um, was much more inspired by couture and the way that couture designers have um, told the stories. It, they still hold the stories through fashion. Um, it started out to me as a very strong collection. I really liked the initial direction it was taking, and it kind of lost me halfway through because I think the shift felt like there were a lot of ideas that didn't come to create a clear vision. Um, but it was marked with great creativity, and it was marked with very inspired ideas. And I think that there is um, a unique way that Korean designers are approaching fashion that American designers, um, that American, rather the American editors haven't seen yet.